What up, folks? Once again, it is your boy Tim with another ride sharing video. Many of us ride share drivers, whether you're driver for Uber or Lyft, tend to believe the reason the passengers view us the way they do, often asking us to go above and beyond our typical duties as a ride share driver, up to and including exiting our vehicle without leaving us a tip at all is because they do not realize how little we get paid or the fact that Uber or Lyft sometimes will take as much as 80% of the fare. A lot of passengers do not realize how little the driver is earning, the fact that the driver is only making 20 to 25% of some of the fares they pay. A lot of passengers do not know that. Nevertheless, I have always stated and encouraged providing the passengers with a professional safe ride from point A to point B. A clean car, driving with courtesy and keeping it safe. I've always encouraged that. Nevertheless, there is always that one driver that screws it up. Today I'm going to feature a video that has went somewhat viral of an Uber passenger lodging a complaint against an Uber driver for unacceptable behavior. Nevertheless, I do have a problem with the complaint as well. I need these Uber drivers to do better. I literally just had to tell an Uber driver, no, you cannot get gas. We're literally driving in the car, literally have somewhere to be. I actually paid like $2 extra so that I could get a quick Uber come to me in two minutes. So he literally starts pulling into the gas station. I was like, mm -mm, no. And he was like, oh, 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 no. Like you're not gonna get gas on my dime. Why would you accept a ride knowing you need to get gas? That's your problem, not mine. Wow. Why would you accept a ride knowing you have to get gas? That is your problem. She let that man have it. And she is correct. Having to stop for fuel, not being completely prepared for the trip you were about to take a passenger on is unacceptable. The actions she's complaining about are unprofessional. Most of our trips are well under 10 miles. You should have enough fuel in your vehicle to complete a 10 mile trip when you accept a ride. Now, if a passenger wants to go 50, 100 miles or something and you need to stop for fuel, that is far more understandable than having to stop in the middle of a short trip. A lot of passengers want to get from point A to point B in an expedited manner and stopping for fuel does not fit in that narrative. So she had a legitimate reason to complain. I'm not going to take away from that. However, my issue is with the condescending tone of the complaint, such as why would you accept a ride knowing you have to get gas? That is your problem, not mine. Well, if the car runs out of fuel in the middle of the damn trip, it's both of our damn problem. As opposed to really going the fuck off and saying, well, get the hell up out of my vehicle. Trying to be cordial, trying to be nice, I would probably follow up when she says, you should have stopped for gas before taking the trip. You know what, ma'am, you are correct. I'll go ahead and cancel the trip and you can have another driver come pick you up with a full tank of gas. And let her just go the fuck off back there. Whatever the case may be, but the condescending tone of this woman is insane. Now, not to mention the idea that she does not want you stopping for gas on her dime. Do these passengers know that most Uber and Lyft drivers are earning 15 cents per minute of wait time or even less? No, of course not. So when we stop, if this guy had to stop to get gas, he's only making an extra 10 cents a minute while the gas is pumping. So it's not like he's ripping her off. Now, I don't know what Uber or Lyft charges the passenger per minute, but once again, as I just stated, a lot of passengers do not realize how little of that trickles down to the driver. It's not uncommon for drivers to be earning nine or 10 cents per minute of wait time. So I wanna ask the veteran drivers in the comments section, do you know how much you are paid per minute of wait time in your market? Because that's what he would be making extra while he's pumping gas and she's waiting. But her second response, no, you can't get gas. I've paid $2 extra for a quick Uber to arrive. Once again, to my veteran drivers, have you ever heard of this? Now, I'm not aware that you can pay extra money to get an Uber to come quicker, at least in my market, but perhaps it's in yours. Feel free to correct your boy if you know, uh, if you've heard of this. And last but not least, 
if a passenger pays two additional dollars to get a trip or to get a car to come sooner, as a driver, how much of that two dollars trickles down to you? She's stating she paid two dollars additional to get a car to come out. How much of that two dollars you think this driver she's complaining about would have received? Last but not least, the obvious elephant in the room, we all, you know, favor receiving tips. Kind of to some degree with the low wages, we work for tips. We don't get them very much. But when you look at this woman and you listen to the complaints she's lodging, on my dime, I paid $2 extra. What are the chances she was going to get out of the vehicle if it was a professional courteous trip and leave a $10 tip or a $5 tip? My guess is she wasn't going to tip any damn thing at all. She's making way too much fuss over something that, for the most part, is going to delay her five, ten minutes at the most. I understand it's unprofessional. It's unacceptable for a driver to do this to a passenger to begin with. But anyone making a fuss of this significance, probably were not going to tip you at all. My opinion is, in a case like this, I would have found a way to get her out of my vehicle. I would have canceled the trip, apologized to her, and said another car is on its way. I don't care if I had to tell her my whole damn engine blew up. Once you start talking to me like that as a driver, you got to go. I mean, I don't expect her to tip on a normal trip. But she's already hot. She's upset. She's talking shit. And she's behind me. And I know I'm not going to get anything else out of her. She's probably going to give you a one-star rating at that point anyway. There is nothing to gain in completing that trip for that woman absolutely nothing to gain at all but you're hearing it from yours truly i want to hear this from my veteran drivers how would you have responded now i understand many of you if not most of you are professional to the point where this shit would never happen to begin with and i hope that's true that's fine but let's for shits and giggles pretend as though you made the mistake maybe you had something else on your mind of not filling up your vehicle and you arrived to her on E, your lights on, and you don't have enough to complete the trip with confidence. So you need to stop for gas. And this woman is talking to you like that when you need to stop. My veteran drivers out there that are out here on the streets every day, whether you would Uber or Lyft, how would you have responded to a passenger telling you, quote unquote, no, you can't get gas if you needed it? How would you respond to that? Remember, we are independent contractors. This is your vehicle. I want to know in the comment section for my veteran drivers, how would you have responded to this woman? As always, what do I say in every video? Subscribe to the damn channel. And I'll see you in the next one.